Thank you, Chair. Last week, Penal Reform International launched our annual report, Global Prison Trends 2021, with the Thailand Institute of Justice, which identifies key trends and challenges in prison systems worldwide. The report outlines that even as prisons remain hotbeds for COVID-19 transmission, the global prison population continues to grow, with 11 million people in prison worldwide and 118 countries operating above capacity, including 11 countries with occupancy levels higher than 250%. Emergency release schemes in response to the pandemic have not gone far enough to address prison overcrowding and prevent COVID-19 outbreaks in prisons. Many prison populations, including 12 in Europe, have in fact risen in recent months as a result of work to clear court backlogs. In some places, new offences for breaching COVID-19 regulations have led to imprisonment, cancelling out any benefit of emergency releases, and these offences have had a disproportionate impact on the poorest members of society and other marginalised groups. At least 532,000 people in prison are reported to have contracted COVID-19, resulting in over 3,900 deaths, but the true numbers will be much higher due to ongoing data collection and transparency issues outlined in the report. Prison staff have also suffered with confirmed cases of COVID-19 among staff reported in at least 48 countries and prison staff accounting for up to 88% of cases in some prison systems. While some countries classified prison staff as essential workers, overall their situation has not received adequate attention from political decision makers. Notably, this is seen with vaccination plans or rollout. While at least 13 countries have prioritised prisons in their vaccination strategies, and a further 11 countries have included but not prioritised prisons, many countries have not specifically referred to prisons at all, despite guidance to do so. In this respect, I draw your attention to a new briefing published jointly by the WHO Europe Health and Prisons Programme, UNODC and Penal Reform International, which details why prioritising prison populations and staff in national COVID-19 vaccination programmes is critical in tackling the pandemic. We call on all member states to ensure those detained and working in prisons are not left behind. Urgent measures are needed to reduce prison populations, ease overcrowding and prevent transmission in places of detention through a range of preventive measures, including vaccination. Longer term, attention must be given to reforming sentencing practices, including punitive drug policies, the overuse of pretrial detention and mandatory minimum sentences in order to reduce the use of imprisonment and protect the health and human rights of everyone in the criminal justice system in the longer term. Thank you.